welcome back to my channel. It is Nico here, and I am here for my kind of to this video right now. It's a three-part installment of drugstore dupes, or um, you know, if you're just not the type of person who's really into this sort of stuff, if you're somebody who wants to expand the range but doesn't want to spend a lot of money, whatever it is. But this is the bronzer version of everything that we're just going to talk about. Bronzer slash contour, because there's not a whole lot of contour stuff out there. I have like a hair right in front of my eyeball. Hi, baby. Hello. Look who it is again. I feel like you've made an appearance in every video. Mm. I don't want to give you kisses because you're going to get lipstick on you. Oh, yep, right. There you go. He's so cute. I know your baby. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry, gross mom moment. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go through some of the most affordable but quality products from the drugstore or dupes or whatever for some maybe higher brand sort of stuff. I definitely have been starting off with the Essence product. One is for lighter skin, one is for darker skin. I absolutely do not think that this is actually for dark skin. This is the dark one. Honestly, this is so sad to me. Like that one's, that one's not great. However, this one here, my actual skin tone I gotta find it, hold on. My not tanned, not fake tanned, that's my normal skin tone. Bronzers were always one of those things where unless it was the summertime, you didn't even wear one. Like you don't even do it. Granted, yeah, you don't need to do it. It's not, like nobody's telling you how to live your life. If you don't wanna wear a bronzer, don't wear a bronzer. But if you do, you're just scared of looking orange or weird or it's too dark and they're all too dark. This one in the lighter skin tone is probably one of the most wearable for pale, 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 pale skin I've ever seen. Uh, maybe I'm being insane, maybe there are other ones, but for the price point, and it's nice. It's like, it feels nice, it's nice quality. I love Essence. They make some amazing products. Uh, the <laughs> the rating is coming off of this one, but this is the Wet n Wild, uh, I think it says Color Icon, Ticket to Brazil. I don't know if they had multiple shades of this. I'm not 100% sure. I feel like they probably did. And here, I'm just gonna put the lighter skin tone one of the Essence on just for like a direct comparison, okay? so that is the ticket to Brazil. That's the wet and wild one, which is even lighter actually. And then this is the light. These are deep swatches, so keep that in mind. You could like these can blend out, but there, like you see what I'm saying. So the ticket to Brazil one though, the wet and wild one, has a sheen to it, so it has more of that like natural skin-like sort of feature to it. And then the Essence one is a matte bronzer, so it doesn't it doesn't have that. So it's really cool. Again, if you have lighter skin tones, I love that. I think that's really exciting um, for, for just some of the people out there that are like, oh, I'm so pale, I can't wear bronzer. Or like they wear bronzer and they're like, oh. I do just wanna give a mention out to the Wet n Wild contouring palette. If you are looking for budget friendly, the lighter one has an ever so slight yellowy tone to it. So it's better for brightening, you know, like banana powders, they're better for like brightening and stuff. I would use a very, very light hand with the contour, like the darker side of everything. The highlighting one is really nice, um, but you can build up the contour. So this is the contour, okay? Just kind of blend it out really poorly, but nonetheless. See how dark it gets? Okay, so I super briefly touched on this. I'm gonna say, like, this is one of my all-time favorite bronzers, not just a drugstore, but I mean high-end as well. I will go back and forth between the Marc Jacobs Tantastic and, and the Physician's Formula, okay? So this is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And I am here to tell you that this is the most incredible thing I've ever used in my entire life. And, oh, it smells so good. It smells like, it smells like vacation. This has the Maru Maru uh, butter oil, whatever it is, in it as well. So the texture of this is actually like, you touch it and it feels like butter. It feels like butter. And just like the blushes, it's like the exact same formula. It's so good and it's so blendable and just like, it looks so good on the skin and I just, I love it. So I love it so much that initially, they only had the one color. It is called bronzer, that is the name of it. But then, <laughs> They realized that they were incredible and they came out with more shades. So there are four shades. I don't have one of them. It is like a warm, way, way warmer kind of tone to it. Um, but I have the light bronzer as well as the deep bronzer, okay? So I'm just gonna do swatches of those really quickly for you guys. They're all obviously the same formula. I just love that the regular one is called bronzer. <laughs> All right, so that is all of them swatched out um, intensely, I would say. Those are very, very like pigmented swatches of them. And then that is them blended out. 
yeah, as great as the other ones are, and they are great, I think at this point it mostly depends on budget. Um, if you don't have a budget at all, yeah, go for some of the lesser expensive ones that I just previously mentioned. But if you, like, you can afford it or you can wait until it's on sale at Choppers. I have the Marc Jacobs, fantastic. Okay, so for your reference, that is the Marc Jacobs and that is the bronzer. Honestly, the butter bronzer looks nicer. I think regularly they're like 20 bucks or something, but you can wait until they're on sale at Shoppers. They're on sale all the time. So I got this other one here. So this is the Nude by Nature. Now see, this is weird for me, okay? So I got this in a boxy charm. I actually got like a face powder as well. And I like it. This product is great. This is from Shop like Shoppers from the drugstore. It's just, it's a loose bronzer. I'm weird about, like I don't love loose powders. Ugh, they're so messy. It goes on beautifully. It has a really, really nice color to it. This one is the shade one Bondi bronze. It looks beautiful on the skin. Yeah, wow. I'm actually really looking at it right now and I'm like, I should use this more because it's really pretty. So just getting away now from the actual drugstore, um, but staying in the drugstore frame of things, uh, I am going to mention the ColourPop two singles here. They do have quite a wide range. Again, they are very, very inclusive, broad spectrum as far as their tones and things go. So I believe that these are some of the lighter ones. If they made their bronzers in the Super Shock formula, I would die. I would buy the fuck out of that. Okay, I just did like the shh. Did the shabbiest swatches ever. So this more warm toned one is called Afternoon Delight and this one is called Private Party. Okay, so this one is Afternoon Delight and this one is Private Party. Because some people don't love when bronzers are too warm toned. So if you naturally have cooler toned skin and you're not into that, I totally get it. Because sometimes like when I don't have my fake tan on, I don't like looking super bronzed because it looks weird. Oh, I'm looking orange now. So the Afternoon Delight one is really, really pretty. Definitely warmer toned. But the Private Party one is more of a cool toned bronzer. Like it's obviously still bronzy and still has warm tones to it, but it's cooler. And it also has more of a sheen to it. So it has that kind of satiny sheen finish. It's more skin-like and it looks so good if you have a z palette but if you don't they do offer that you can it'll come in like a compact and every one of their compacts has a mirror in it which i really really like so i think in the compact it's like eight dollars for a bronzer and if you just buy the actual thing i think it's just seven dollars or something but those things go on sale all the time at ColourPop. so again yeah you can't buy it at the drugstore you do have to buy it on their website but they have sales and they're already so affordable like they're definitely drugstore affordable quality but like high end high high end so i do have this i do use this on the channel quite often this is the wet n wild mega cushion contour so it's one of the little cushiony things and it is it's a liquid and as you can see it looks really deep and dark and it's warm toned so i do not use this as a contour i have used this probably i think quite a few times on my channel i used it today I am wearing it today. Um, I do have another bronzer topper on top of it, but that's I like it is the is the true color that you see is from this. So I don't use this as a contour. I use it as a bronzer 100%. Definitely use the sponge. The sponge is amazing. I love the sponge. I wish that there were more like liquidy bronzers out there. I'm really curious to try the milk makeup one just out of curiosity. I feel like I wouldn't hate it. Or like I think nudie sticks has something or nude stick. I love that. Like will repurchase. 100%. So this is not technically an affordable brand, but this is still on sale on their website. It's been on sale for a long time actually. So I think that the original purpose of this was to be like a contour. So this is the Tarte Sculptor like face contouring slenderizer thing. Nailed that. This is in Park Ave Princess. I think it was like Park Ave Princess 2 and 3. I think $13 on their website right now because it's on sale. I think it's supposed to be a contour. It is very warm. I straight up use this as a bronzer because it looks like you draw it on and it's super intense, but it blends out like crazy and it loses a lot of that pigment. So I can put a ton of this onto my face and it blends out really nicely. So that's what I personally use that one for. I will draw it onto my face. I have other videos or like short videos on my Instagram account, which I will just, there's the link. I just like draw it on and then I can just, you can blend it out with your finger. You don't even need to, like you can use a sponge, it's probably faster, but you can, it's one of those things where you can just blend it out really easily. I'm pretty sure that this is now being sold at the drugstore, but this was in conjunction with a uh, BoxyCharm. This is the Pure Sculptor palette. 
It's a highlight and contour palette. It looks so dark. These contour shades are great because look how dark the dark one is. That's amazing. And then that's them blended out. Contour palettes and shades and stuff should definitely be cool toned because you want it to look like a shadow and a shadow doesn't have warmth to it And then the last thing for the drugstore is the um, the Maybelline Master contour stick. This is the light shade and I mostly just use the darker side um, It's so creamy. It's so beautiful. I love it. It's really blendable. It's very cool toned. It's perfect Yeah, it's always easier to use a powder because it just takes less time, you can just slap powders on. But I think that the effect of liquid or stick or whatever for certain things can look a lot better. I think it depends obviously on your skin type. I think that because I have dry skin, I really, really like the way that like liquidy or stick products look on my skin. So I really, really love it. Just for reference though, I also own the Fenty Beauty one in amber, which is like weird because amber sounds warm to me, but this is a cool toned one. And then I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills in Fawn, which is also cool toned. So these are my contour sticks. So I'm just going to take the Maybelline one and swatch it. The I know that a lot of people don't like the Fenty one and they have a lot of issue with it being like too difficult to blend and work with and everything. But I honestly, I don't find that at all. I find it very easy to work with. So that's just like interesting. Maybelline, Fenty, Anastasia. Definitely say that it's a dupe. Actually, I would even go so far as to say that the Maybelline one is easier to blend out. It has a creamier texture. I have yet to find more of like a, a shimmery or like a topper bronzer. Cause I have these two. I have my Too Faced Sweethearts and my Becca Sunrise Waves. And these ones are like my quote unquote shimmery, but they don't look like they're not glittery and they don't have like sparkles in them, but they have like that natural, beautiful glow to them. They give me that like glowing from within. I use the Sweetheart bronzer over top of the Wet n Wild cushion contour one. And I love it. I really do. I do not regret spending the money on those. I just have yet to find a dupe for it. I haven't looked too hard. That's the thing. So maybe I will do an update if I ever do find one that is like similar to those that gives me the same kind of effect. But uh, at this current moment in time, I don't have anything equivalent that is from the drugstore. And for anybody that is wondering about the lipstick I am wearing today, just because I know that this is like a very bold lip. So it is the Kathy and Light slash ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip. Uh, in the, she always pronounces this as Rev, but I would pronounce it Rever. Rever, Rever. I don't know. So amazing. It's like an orange red But like without being too red and without being too orange, it's perfect. Like she nailed it I find that bold lips make me a little bit nervous in public. I'm like, oh are people looking at me? But maybe they're just like wow it looks really nice Okay, sorry. Okay. I'm gonna stop talking. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to <laughs> Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe the like the bell I don't even know hit all the things I'm done. I'm out. I'm out of here. I don't... I need to eat. Oh, I'm getting so hangry. <laughs> I am honestly living for this lipstick though, so if you want to leave a comment about how great it looks, I mean... I'm not gonna hate that. <laughs>